are in keto diet, low carb diet, and you are looking for a sugar substitute, keep watching this video. All right, so here I've got some sugar substitutes. For example, Alilos. Oh God, Alilos is really perfect for baking. So you, you can make uh, some um, cookies with Alilos, but of course they are not going to be so crunchy or so hard. They are going to be a bit soft, but they are really keto friendly. So. That's so good. So here, no GMO, pure allulose, zero calorie sweetener. So yeah, I really love allulose. It's a very, very rare sweetener and it's natural. Then, I love erythritol for itching and put in the fridge. So in the same time, I really love erythritol uh, because of the cool sensation. So yeah, when I make sometimes biscuits or cake with the uh, with it all, um, they turn out so cool, so like, I don't know, like a mentos, mentos coolness, yeah, something like that. So I don't, I, I love it, I love it, but I don't have another, another, um, another choice. So if you know any other type of uh, natural itching sugar, uh, sugar alternative, sorry, let me know in the comment, thank you. And then I've got uh, Evelyn. Evelyn is so fantastic if you want to make your bread. So this is a perfect like you you make your bread. You need the, your yeast to uh, bloom out. You can put a bit of inulin on in, in inside, and inulin is going to do the job. It's really really good. So you can even um, take inulin in your coffee, but I never tried before, so I don't know if I like it or not but it's absolutely amazing for baking. So try inulin. Then I've got uh, this one. Uh, it's a ritual, but it's a brown because they put inside the, uh, how do you call the other one? They put, uh, oh, no. All right, so yeah, this is a um, brown erythritol, perfect for brown sugar substitutes. And uh, yeah, also this one is very low in the uh, glycemic index, so it's very low. So I take this one sometimes to make my um, gingerbread uh, biscuits. So yeah, if I, uh, it's really, really perfect for baking. And uh, you can make also creme brulee with this. I never tried before anyway. To make a crumble, I mean, I tried this sugar, you see, it's nearly finished, but I mean, sweetener. And then, I will talk about this one. Oh, anyway, this is stevia and a to blend, I really love it. This uh, oh, is almost finished because I really use this one every single day. I use in my coffee, in my tea to bake uh, cake and biscuits. Really perfect, I really love it. All right, the downside of this product is the erythritol because make everything uh, <laughs> because erythritol turn everything too cool. So the yeah, cool sensation. So I don't really like this. But you can solve this problem by using a bit of inulin. So if, for example, you're going to make your biscuit, your biscuit or your cake, you make it with this, and then you put a bit of inulin. So even it's going to help you to reduce the coolest sensation. All right, so to, for today is everything. I hope uh, um, this video is helpful to you. So let me know in the comment which type of uh, sugar alternative do you use. All of these are natural, so I prefer to use uh, a natural uh, sugar alternative. I don't like uh, the artificial ones because they are very, very bad for the, um, for the health. So I don't really like them. So anyway, let me know in the comment what do you think about uh, this video. If you're going to try some of them, maybe you already tried some of them, you make some, some biscuits or something. Let me know everything in the comment. Alright, thank you really much for watching. See you in the next video. Bye!